Hey what's up YouTubers, this is Falcon CX, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a live CD for Ubuntu. Uh, a live CD allows you to boot up Linux anywhere you go. You can put it on a Windows or Mac computer and it will allow you to boot up uh, the Linux Ubuntu operating system. So to do this you open up a web browser because we're gonna be downloading Linux Ubuntu into an ISL file and as you can see this is the website www.ubuntu.com and right away we get this uh, download an Ubuntu CD so make sure you select uh, the 8.10 version which is the latest one uh, if you wanna use the other one you can also do that and select your location so that you get the uh, fastest download so I'm going to select the United States now here are some custom options that are very important if you know you're gonna be using computers that are pretty old you might as well stay with the 32-bit version because it'll work on every computer 32-bit refers to the processor so yeah old computers don't have uh, really fast processors so most likely they'll have the 32-bit version now 64-bit version are the new processors like the AMD 64 Core Duo or the Intel Pentium 4 um, those are 64-bit processors if you don't know what processor your computer currently has there's an easy way to check go over here to applications accessories and open up the terminal which is down here okay it takes a while for it to open there it is now this is what you're gonna type lshw sorry about that it's actually sudo lsh W. Type your password. And then it's going to give you all the information about your computer. So just give me a second and let me scroll up to where it's going to tell you what your processor is. Go all the way up. The processor usually is the, uh, the first one that shows. So here we are. As you can see, it tells me that I currently have uh, uh, the Ubuntu version, that's the 64 bit version. And if I scroll down a little bit here to CPU, it tells me that my processor is an AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core processor. 64, that means my processor is a 64 bit processor. So that's how you find out uh, about that. Now, there's a few reasons why you might not choose a 64-bit version, even if you have uh, the the uh, the 64-bit processor. Uh, the 64-bit version of uh, Linux does not currently have uh, very good support for the Flash Player, which allows you to play videos online and also the support for the wine program that allows you to install applications uh... that are run on windows like microsoft office the support for that is not very awesome also for the sixty four bit version it's better on the thirty two bit so if those are reasons that you might not want to choose a sixty four even though you have a sixty four bit processor then you might as well choose a thirty two bit so once you have uh, made your decision about that, just click on Begin Download. And uh, click on the mirror. And uh, here we are. Save the file. As you can see, this is going to be an ISO. So just click OK. And it's going to take a while. 
it's 700 megabytes so it'll probably take about an hour so I'm gonna pause the video and once it's finished downloading I'll continue with the uh, screencast alright now the file has finished downloading and it's uh, right here as you can see it so we're gonna uh, use a program to burn it onto a CD uh, and the best program to use uh, when you have uh, Ubuntu is uh, K3B so if you don't have that program you can get it by going to applications add remove and uh, you're gonna do a search for K3B so here we go it's K3B and this is the one uh, so if you don't have that program make sure you select it and click apply changes now if you're using Windows uh, one of the best softwares you can use is um, Nero so for Windows use that one otherwise for Ubuntu Linux we're gonna use K3B the program will be here in applications and uh, sound and video K3B wait for the program to boot up and now we're going to burn the image so select uh, tools right here then burn DVD ISO image and uh, we're just gonna drag the file inside here or we can do a search for it let's search for it clicking right here on this folder it's on my desktop here it is we click on that and then it's gonna start reading the file okay so it finished loading here it is 700 megabytes Linux and here's the code now make sure you select a slow speed because we want the uh, ISO file to burn with very good quality and not fast so let's put a DVD onto your um, DVD burner alright so now that you have uh, put a blank DVD onto your DVD burner you'll be able to select the speed make sure you select the lowest speed you have available because you want to burn with good quality rather than fast so by selecting the lowest speed you know that it's gonna burn with uh, less errors and you don't want errors on your live CD so just when you have selected the 4 hit start and it's gonna start uh, writing the disk at, it at the lowest speed it'll take uh, about a little bit more than 10 minutes I would say actually it's gonna take a lot less than I thought it's going pretty fast it'll probably be done in about three minutes Linux is pretty fast so as you can see our CD has uh, burned successfully in three minutes and one second once you load it into your computer and it boots up it's gonna give you a screen like this one and hold on sorry about that I had the wrong the wrong picture actually so it's gonna give you a screen like this one and you wanna select try Ubuntu without any changes to your computer and then you there you go it's gonna uh, 
load into temporary files and it's not going to make any changes to you to the computer where you're putting it and you're going to get to use the system without actually installing it so that's a live cd for you thanks for watching